What is up guys, it's all back for a brand new video on today's video. We're gonna be going into some Clash Royale that was using that same um hog deck and gonna try to get to twenty six hundred for because the jungle arena releases in two days and I wanna be in there to unlock all the new cards and showcase them to you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lot of pushing offline and online if I have time. And if I do have time, I'll be making sure to push and use my best decks possible. Because I really want to show you guys the new cards there. Because I haven't seen them, obviously. But I think they look pretty cool in the sneak peeks. So we're going to try to push there, like I said. Let me open my chest. Pretty decent stuff. And now let's go into our first battle. And I am versus Nestor R. One and done. 2450. My study hand isn't that good. Kind of like a rush one. But I'll just place my ice golem in the back. You know, just in case he place, makes a push on one side. I can defend it. Or if he makes a push on the other side. I'll have a counter push. He's going to try to go with the hog push. I'm going to take him down, go with my own hawk, take it down, go with my own hawk push. His archer is the only thing that's going to hit my tower. My ice golem is going to almost take out a skeleton army and my hawk gets one hit. So we're almost at even health at this point. But I may, I think I have a Alexa advantage. I'm not sure. So I'm going to do the same thing as last time. Except now... I know what cards he has, I'm going to defend much better, or at least attempt to. I'm going to place my ice golem in the middle, see which side goes on. He's going to place his minion horn. I'm going to arrow it. And, as he has his archers coming away, I feel like he he has his hog coming up. So just in case, I'll have a skeleton army ready, but I'll have elite barbarians in the back. And I feel like he's going to place his hog at this point. We'll see. But... It doesn't look like he is, so I'm going to place my hog. I'm going to zap his fire spirits, but he placed his skeleton on me right before, and I didn't get to zap that. So now I did not a lot of damage to his tower, and I think he's going for a hog push. Not sure. going to place my ice golem. Looks like he has a goblin barrel on the side, which is going to do critical damage to my tower, taking it down to 1862 from 2,534. Coming in with another goblin barrel, arrow that. He's probably going to use his minion horde, but I can use uh, Ice Spirit Zap. Just going for plain hog. Plain old hog this time. Skeleton on me. I'm going to actually zap that instead. And now he has his push coming. I'm going to use my Ice Golem. And now I've cycled back to my arrows. Tombstone. Those goblins aren't going to get a lot of hits on my tower, but he zaps it, so they do. And now I'm going for Elite bar Barbs, where I think we both don't have a lot of luck, so he places his archers and his skeleton army. I missed the skeleton army partially, and he is barely in the lead currently. I'm going to arrow his mega minions. He's coming in with the um, goblin barrel, which is the main thing that's taking down my tower. So badly. I'm going to go in for a hog. He's going to have his archers. And the towers are pretty even at this point. Have a slightly. But it, then again, he has like a zap bait deck or like an L bait deck. And he'll take out my tower for the win. Pretty close battle just warming up. This is my first battle. Came back from home just now. So let's get straight into another battle versus M slash A slash R slash C. Marco. Okay, I'm just going to say Marco. Going for aggressive hog push. Let's see what he has. Barbarians. And I'm good counter because everyone uses elite barbarians now, as you know. So people want to respect barbarians, I guess. Surrounded with skeleton on me. He's going to fireball my tombstone in my tower. And now I have a skeleton on me coming in to take down this tower. Well, not to take it down, but do some pretty good damage. Taking it down to 
1279. Now I'm going for a hog ice cream ice spirit push. Wow, this is the icy push. Anyways. Looks like he has a goblin bear also. So that's gonna be a struggle for me. But remember I've arrows and I've zap. So he has his hog coming in and his ice wizard and his baby dragon. Looks like I, he, his hogs gonna get tons of damage on my tower, and that baby dragon and ice wizard are gonna get good, some good damage also. I'm gonna zap his spear gobs, but my tower's at 893 now, and he had a really good push, which almost even the damage on our towers. So, I'm still gonna. I feel like he's gonna keep doing that same exact thing. So I'm gonna have my leap barbarians ready now on because th those could have easily killed the hog before it reached the tower then I could have placed something else to take the rest down I'm gonna use a tombstone to distract the baby dragon now I'm gonna use a leap barbarians to counter his hog and I'm gonna use ice spirits to slow down his normal barbarians but the leap barbarians go to the wrong place I mean to the to the barbarians and the hog takes my tower to 101, so almost dead. And he has a fireball, so he can take it out. But my hog will take out the tower, so there's no use of a spell. And I think he'll take down my tower, probably. Because... And my real weakness is his baby dragon. Because I have no air defense against him. I'm not even... It was except the ice spirit. So I'm going to add some air defense into this deck. I'm going to... Going for a big push. Gonna zap his stuff. Now I'm gonna have my skeleton army distract. But it doesn't do a lot of damage because of that fireball. Looks like his barbs are coming in. Gonna have my tombstone ready. And I'm gonna place a hog, ice golem, skeleton army in the very middle with a ice beard. Just so I can get some more damage without... Having all that travel time and having him be ready to counter it by the end. If I had a fireball, I could probably take this deck down really easily. But I have arrows and zap, which I think is fine. But for this battle, it's pretty frustrating. His hog's going to get some shots on the tower. as Only my king tower, normal tower, can take it down at this point. Now I'm going to go in for another hog push. Thinking his goblins will go in, I arrow it, which was wasteful, and my hog didn't even get a hit on the tower. There's 22 seconds in overtime. I'm pretty sure no one's going to win, but it looks like he's actually going for a push. So I'm going to counter this. He misses his zap partially. Hog only gets one hit on the tower. Looks like it's going to be a tie game. I think I might have been able to win that one if, you know, we had more time. But you don't know, so that's one of them. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. See you back for a brand new video later and peace out. Make sure to like and subscribe, by the way.